You want to talk about statistics? Statistically, women are more likely to go to therapy than men are. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, how is it that therapy does not improve your mentality? You're sitting there talking about your problems. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. No, yes. no, unless you're actually traumatized. You, know what you're like that. you don't take it. You don't go to therapy. I have been. It was a waste of time. You're just talking about shit. You, you know the answer. You know when you go to therapy or like when you're crying for a semester about your boyfriend, you know the answer is to get over it and go to class. Instead, you're crying. I'm getting over it. I'm getting over it. It's a waste of time. You know what to do. That's the problem. That's the illusion of improvement. From someone who used to roast therapy, now takes therapy, and now wants to become a therapist, I have a big mouth about this. Now, Sneeko is 100% correct. A lot of people in this generation, and I'm going to say it, I'm going to be honest, you guys are taking therapy as a trend. Yes, I'm going to sit here and say, honestly, if you're taking the steps to become a better person, I commend you for that, and that's a beautiful thing. But if you're taking therapy because it's a trend or because other people are telling you to do that, that makes no sense because a lot of people go to therapy, pay money, and waste their money because they're not implementing those things in their life. Therapy is for trauma. Ladies, please, when you speak on things, be logical and make sure what you're saying makes sense because I could pick apart everything this woman is saying. Foremost, yes, we know women take therapy more than men, but we also know that men are not set up to talk to somebody. Men are not comfortable doing that, and that's fine. Another thing, ladies, just because you take therapy doesn't mean you're doing it. You're doing the self-work. Do you know how many people go to the gym and don't actually work out? Exactly. Like I said, I can pick apart everything she's saying. Another thing, ladies, you are a woman. You are set up completely different than a man. I know in your mind, you think we're equal. We are not. Men are totally different than us. They are animals. Means they need to be working out, doing something that's going to help release that anger, release whatever they're going through. Men don't sit down and talk. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't men out here who do sit down and talk and they take therapy. I commend you, men. If you're doing that and it works for you, God bless y'all. I don't knock it. But ladies, not everything that works for you is going to work for a grown man. You're not a man. So I hate when women say things like this as if therapy is the holy grail. It is not. Therapy is for trauma, not sitting around and doing this thing that you're doing and saying, oh yeah, it's this and that, like him. You can't sit down and talk at therapy and have fun. That's not what it's for. It's for trauma, you guys. You know what really bothers me when women say stuff like this? You guys are really insensitive and it's super disrespectful. Men are always made fun of for expressing their emotions. They are literally, when they tell women things, women will throw it in their face. Yes, they're going to a professional, but all that trauma and stuff that they've dealt with, that's not comfortable for them to just go, oh, let me go ahead and talk to a therapist. So when you guys sit there and don't think and understand how a man would feel about this, please stop telling people to seek therapy, especially if you don't have good suggestions on how to help anybody with mental health. Shut up.